Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan in this very very powerful video of algebraic challenging equations where we are going to solve one interesting quartic equation 3x plus 4 times x plus 1 times 6x plus 7 whole square equal to 6. While solving this problem, I will use algebraic identities, manipulation, quadratic equation, quadratic formula and we will conclude our result. There are two methods to solve this quartic equation. First one is conventional method where we will take the product and then we will write one equation and we will solve for it. Second is using substitution method. So I am going to use the second one and I will show you this one. I want to show you if I can write this 3x plus 4 then I can write 6x multiply this term with 2. So 6x plus 8 because I multiplied by 2 so I have to divide by 2. Similarly second bracket I will multiply with 6. I want to show you one thing which is very very interesting. Now you can easily see what is happening over there. See it is 6x plus 8, 6x plus 7, 6x plus 6, 6x plus 7. On number line, if I will show, it is suppose 6x plus 6, 6x plus 7, then this would be 6x plus 8. Okay. If I will substitute the middle one as t, then this would be t minus 1. This would be t plus 1. So this is our substitution logic, which bracket I have to pick and give substitution to that. Okay. So I am going to give let 6x plus 7 equal to y. That means 6x is equal to y minus 7 or x is equal to y minus 7 over 6. Okay. Now let's find out the bracket values. 3x plus 4 is first bracket. So I have to write 3x. So that will be y minus 7 over 2 plus 4 which will give us y minus 7 plus 8. So y plus 1 over 2. This is first bracket. Second bracket x plus 1. Put the value of x in terms of y plus 1. So I will get y minus 1 over 6. Now put the values. So our equation will convert. Let me drag here. And I can write with this color 3x plus 4 y plus 1 over 2. This is first bracket. Second bracket x plus 1. So I will write y minus 1 over 6. Third bracket which is our y. So I will write y square equal to 6. So if I will multiply both sides by 12, I will be getting y square y plus 1, y minus 1. The difference of a square formula which states that the sum of numbers times the difference of numbers. So I will write y square times y square minus 1 equal to 72. 12 times 6, 72. Okay. So let's solve this equation. Let me write here y square times y square minus 1 equal to 72. Now I am going to give again substitution or we can write equation like this y power 4. This is second way minus y power 2 minus 72 equal to 0. I just expand that bracket. Now you can see it is quadratic in y square. So I will use quadratic formula and which will result y square because I am writing directly. If you want to give substitution then you can put y square is equal to a then it would be quadratic in a. Suppose I am writing directly y square will be equal to minus 1. So 1 plus minus square root of minus 1 square 1 minus 4ac. So it will be plus 72 times 4 288 over 2 which will give us 1 plus minus square root 289 
over 2 1 plus minus we know that it is 17 square root 289 is 17 so if i will consider plus value then it will be 1 plus 17 over 2 so 18 over 2 9 and 1 minus 17 over 2 minus 16 over 2 minus 8 now we have to solve only one equation basically if real solution is required either this if complex is also required then we will solve y square is equal to minus 8 now remember what was our y this was our y 6x plus 7 not whole square let me write here our substitution was 6x plus 7 equal to y now i am going to put over there see from first equation i can write y is equal to plus minus 3 okay so y is 6x plus 7 equal to plus minus 3 let me consider plus 3 here and then 6x plus 7 equal to minus 3 here i can write okay so 6x will be equal to negative 4 here 6x will be equal to negative 10 okay minus 3 minus 7 minus 10 so from first equation i will be having x as minus 2 over 3 this is our first real solution of the quartic equation and here i will be having minus 5 over 3 this is our second real solution of the same quartic equation now i am going to find out complex solutions why i am saying it is complex because of square is negative a square of any number y is negative that means y is complex so let's solve this y square is equal to minus 8 let me consider y square equal to minus 8 so let's open this is our y so i will write 6x plus 7 whole square equal to minus 8 36x square a square 84x plus 49 equal to minus 8 if i will take all the terms to left so I will be getting 36x square plus 84x minus plus 57 equal to 0. Now it is clearly visible that equation is divisible by 3. So I will get divide by 3. So I will get 12x square plus 28x plus 19 equal to 0. Now to find out complex solutions we have to apply quadratic formula so let's apply x is equal to minus b so minus 28 plus minus 28 is square so if i will write directly then it is 784 minus 4 ac so that value is minus 912 over 2a so 24 okay so this square root will give us minus 28 plus minus minus 128 over 24 now 64 times 2 is 128 so i can write this as i 64 square root of 64 is 8 and square root 2 over 24 now we can divide by 4 so minus 7 plus minus i times 2 root 2 over 6. So there are 4 solutions. Let me write all the 4 solutions. x is equal to minus 2 over 3, minus 5 over 3 and then there are two complex solutions which we calculated 2 root 2 over 6 over all two real and two complex solutions are there now let's verify one only i am going to verify x is equal to 
minus 2 over 3. You can check the second one also. So let me put here. I am going to put values here. So 3x. 3x would be, you can see, if x is equal to minus 2 over 3, then 3x will be minus 2. Let me write here. Minus 2 plus 4. x plus 1. So I will write 1 minus 2 by 3 or minus 2 by 3 plus 1. Both are same thing. 6x. 3x is minus 2. 6x would be minus 4 plus 7 whole square. So this is 2. The second bracket is 1 over 3. It is 3 square. So 9. So I can cancel this by 3. So this value is coming out 6 which is our RHS. Similarly we can check for x equal to minus 5 over 3. And if you want to check you can check for complex solutions also. No problem at all. So this is how we can find out the quartic solutions. I hope you like this video so much. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this.